There are many methods of closure for corset. We have zipper, you can make use of a bosque, you can make use of lacing and so on and so forth. In this video, I'll be showing you two methods of lacing up your corset. Actually, it's three methods, but one is a subdivision of the other. You're welcome to Kema Freak. My name is Kemi Omorube. I'm so glad to have you here. Enjoy the video. Here is the back piece of my basic bodice block and for this I won't be needing this zipper allowance. So I need to first create an opening at the back of my corset. So I marked 1.5 inches on the waistline and 2.5 inches on the new neckline. So I then drew out a slightly V shape. You can make it straight but this just looks better to me. That's to leave some room for tightening when you when you are lacing up the corset okay so for this i have decided to work with a modesty panel so i'm extending the center back just a little bit to allow me room to create my modesty panel so for the modesty panel to completely close up the back i need to measure the distance between the slanted line i just took and make sure that i have times two of the 2.5 i took out just so it can extend into the other side of the back okay and at the bottom i just need to make it straight so i drew a perpendicular line to the initial one to have that straight back so here is our modesty panel i'll go ahead now to you know cut out my pattern you can make a plan to attach more boning channels to your back piece but we are not dealing with that today here i am closing up my dart because i just want to cut this back as a single piece you can decide to slash your dart and have two separate pieces or three depending on the number of boning channels you want to create at the back here i'm cutting out my pattern and you know i included the necessary sewing allowance half an inch all through this is just a sample i'm not using this for a dress so i just use half an half an inch all through i cut out lining and also ironed my feasible interfacing on it now this is the pattern for the modesty panel you can go ahead and attach a feasible interfacing to yours but i didn't do that for mine so we are starting the sewing process with our modesty panel so i'm sewing three sides of the modesty panel and leaving the side I'll be attaching to the back of the corset open after doing that i went ahead to trim off the seam allowance turned it inside out and gave it a good press now we want our look to look very uniform so i marked one inch away from the center back note that we still have half an inch there so basically it's half an inch okay so i marked one inch away and I also marked half an inch just to leave that top half an inch seam allowance so from that point i started marking one one inch apart because we want this to look to look very uniform okay and we also don't want any disparity between the left and the right side having marked this out i took my should i say rope you can use any type of loop really but i made use of a bias tape for this so i'll be pinning between each marking i made making sure that it doesn't exceed the one inch mark just so it looks uniform on that end and because i don't want to cut this into pieces you can actually cut this into pieces without having to you know loop them with each other so but i wanted a continuous loop kind of so i'm just holding this together with my pin and once i am done i'll go ahead to the sewing machine so here to stabilize it while pulling out the pins here's what i have on the both side you have to make sure that they are uniform you have the exact same number go ahead and count to confirm then i went ahead like i said to hold the loops down by sewing it on the sewing machine while pulling out the pins
once that was done it was time to close up the neckline so i placed the right side of my lining over the right side of the fabric and i am sewing the neckline closed by half an inch done that now we want to top stitch on the lining so i turned the lining making sure that the seam allowance is towards the lining and i'll be top stitching by one eighth or one quarter of an inch so having done that i flipped the lining over and we want to sew close the center back by half an inch now here is what we have after that process we have our loops ready now we're moving on to the first part of eyelet fixing and for this method you cut your main fabric the regular way you will have cut it with or without slashing open the dart but for the lining it is compulsory that you open up the dart because we'll be inserting the modesty panel into this so i slashed open that dart and cut open the lining added sewing allowance to the lining because we have to sew it back right and also your modesty panel shouldn't start from the edge like it did in the first method you have to measure from that open dart okay then add times two of the 2.5 i added while drafting the modesty panel so the modesty panel will be longer because it needs to cover a larger area is extending into the center of that dart okay so but for this demonstration i just made use of the modesty panel i had already cut out so i didn't plan it into this at all now i'll be sewing the two panels of the lining together and sandwiching the modesty panel in between okay and i'm sewing by half an inch you should already have half an inch allowance on the lining after this step is done i went ahead to close up the neckline like we did the first one just your normal process close up the neckline and then close up the center back and all of that Having turned the neckline, I'll be stitching close the center back by half an inch. Once that was done, I turned this inside out, went to my ironing table and gave this a good press and this is what we have. Now it's time to create some structure at the center back. If you're working with a rigelin boning, you can sew the boning on the same allowance at the center back. But if you're working with a plastic boning, you don't have an option but to create a channel for it. You can also choose to create a channel for a rigelin boning. So for rigelin boning, you have two options. <laughs> but for plastic boning, you can only you know so your channel and insert it into it so i marked out half an inch from the center back and i ran a stitch through it it should be a neat stitch next you need to take your eyelet and measure the width of the eyelet ensure that you have a wide enough space for your eyelet to stay mark it rule it out and go ahead and run another stitch through it here is the space for the eyelet 
then you need to mark another half an inch or the width of your boning again because you are creating another channel for the boning just make sure that your lining lays flat and please ensure that that dart is not too close to the center back because this can make this process challenging okay so shift your dart if necessary okay or you can draw out another line further away from the center back to give more room for all of these channels now i have all my channels created and i'll be inserting my rigilin boning into the first and the third channel leaving the middle open for fixing of eyelets so make sure that your boning is you know at least half an inch shorter because you still need your seam allowance to be without boning when you are attaching it to a skirt or whatever you're working on here i gave my corset <laughs> now we call it a corset now i gave it a good press and i am marking the positions of the eyelids okay i came down by half an inch just so it doesn't start at the top and i also marked my eyelids one inch apart from each other I made use of my seam ripper to punch a hole into the markings I made. If you have a puncher, that will come in really handy. So here are my eyelets and first you insert the eyelet from the right side and then cover it up on the wrong side. Insert it into the rivet machine and apply pressure. I have a very detailed tutorial on four things you can use the rivet machine to create and that included eyelet fixing. Guys, you need to check it out. I'll drop a link above and in the description box. I'll repeat this process for all of the marking you can see on this sample. For the other side of this back piece, you can decide to sew your rigiling boning on the seam allowance and then turn it or you just go ahead and create the channels all over again just that this time you are not inserting a modesty panel into the lining and you can cut the lining the exact same way you're cutting the main fabric so having done this i went ahead to stitch on my rigilin boning if it's a plastic boning you stitch on the side create another channel for your eyelids and then another channel for boning then go ahead and insert it like we did in the first sample of eyelids okay and this is ready using this method for attaching your eyelet this is what you will have and you can see how clean it looks on both sides really pretty We are moving on to the second part of the eyelet fixing process this is just another sewing method and it comes in handy when you want to get a separate color at the center back just give it more class more definition here i'm marking 1.75 inches away from the center back although i later discovered 1.5 inch would have been enough so having done that i drew a straight line across and i'll be separating this piece which we will cut out on another color of fabric now because i had already prepared that initial fabric that i'll be using i need to also cut out this shape away from both the fabric and the lining don't forget the seam allowance very important Remember to label the cutout, indicates the top and also the center back and the side closer to the side, just so it doesn't mix up. Now proceed to transfer this little pattern to a red fabric. And of course, while you are cutting the fabric, ensure that you add your seam allowance all round. I made use of half an inch. I cut two pieces for this because we'll need to sew it and turn it inside out. So I'll be Sewing three sides of this, the top and the bottom, and also the center back, 
leaving open the side i'll be attaching to the other side other part of the bodies having done that i went ahead to trim the allowance turn it inside out and give it a good press here i took out my boning measured the length i needed and cut it out now let's turn this inside out and then i'll insert the boning into it go give it a good press just so it stays in place then seal it close if you're working with a rigidine boning you can sew on it if not just sew at the side like we have been doing so far okay i will be making use of a white thread just so you see it clearly i discovered i had lost some clips here so what i did is after that initial stitch i drew out another line and stitch that part close again for eyelet and then we have the the rigidine boning into it again and now we can go ahead and attach this to the the other part of the bodies but before then go ahead and turn the neckline like we have been doing ever since then we'll be sewing these two together but then right side facing each other we are sandwiching it between the main fabric and the lining but then don't forget the modesty panel if you're making use of a modesty panel so once again for this the modesty panel has to start from the part you slashed okay just so it extends all the way and you have enough you know enough width Having placed the right side of this panel on the right side of the other side of the bodies, go ahead and place the modesty panel on it and then turn the lining around to close it up. Now you can stitch by half an inch. Here's what I have so far. It looks good. Now the modesty panel here is slightly shorter than the red piece and that's because the pattern wasn't planned. Okay, I just made use of the modesty panel I cut out in the first demonstration. So right here, I will go ahead to repeat the process for eyelet fixing. The other side can be like this or you, you know, make it another cut out just so it is uniform i think that will look better this is what you have on the inside very neat i actually prefer this method i just feel it looks really good which of this is your favorite guys which do you prefer is it method one method 2a or method 2b drop a comment in the comment section let me know which you prefer note that for all of the methods so far you can decide not to attach a modesty panel to it so just have like an open back corset with this we have come to the end of this tutorial i hope you enjoyed watching this if you did please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't drop a comment in the comment section and share this video so that others can learn from this Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you being here. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.